Power, speed, beauty, and sound. It's all the things you expect and want in a hypercar. Is 500 horsepower not enough for you? What about a 5,000 horsepower engine in a 2,000 pound car? Or an all-wheel drive car that can do 0 to 186 miles per hour in under 9 seconds? If you think all that sounds wild, then get ready to check out the most powerful cars in the world. Bugatti is well known by now for creating some of the fastest supercars on the planet with the Chiron and Veyron. But now Bugatti has announced a new car called the Boli. This amazing skeletal looking coupe has a massive rear wing, air scoops in all the right places, and a body style that will make anyone's jaw drop at first sight. Just check out the back of this car with its four huge exhaust pipes, giant wing, and laser-thin tail lights, which is probably the only thing you'll ever see if you meet this car on the road. It's powered by the Bugatti W16 engine that cranks out an insane 1,824 horsepower, and get this, the car only weighs 2,733 pounds. Talk about a crazy power-to-weight ratio. No word about the transmission just yet, it seems designers are keeping this a secret for now. Bugatti claims that the Bolide can reach a speed of 310 miles per hour. This means it could compete against the SSC Tuatara which recently set a speed record of 316.11 miles per hour. But we'll talk about that supercar in a few moments, so make sure you stick around. By the way, there is no price mentioned of the Bolide just yet but we estimate it will probably be around 8 to 10 million dollars. Hennessy Performance Engineering started to become well known when they were upgrading the iconic Dodge Viper and calling it the Viper Venom. Now Hennessy is building complete cars from the ground up and the new Venom F5 is one incredibly brutal looking machine. After two years of engineering and development, the Hennessy team built an all-new chassis entirely out of carbon fiber, which is strong and lightweight. Torsional rigidity has been measured at 38,353 pounds-feet per degree and has a total weight of just 190 pounds. It's an engineering marvel. Mated to this chassis is Hennessy Specialty Vehicles' brand new twin turbocharged 6.6 liter V8 engine nicknamed Fury that has an output of 1,817 plus horsepower and a stump pulling 1,193 pounds feet of torque, which is available from a broad 2,000 to 8,000 RPM. Hennessy claims this car should have a top speed of 310 miles per hour. The base price for the Venom F5 is a whopping $1.8 million. But don't worry about buying one because Hennessy is only building a total of 24 cars and most of those have already been sold. The AMG project from Mercedes is one sweet looking ride that the company has been working on since 2017. The outside of this beautiful looking machine is designed for aerodynamics and has a body made entirely of carbon fiber and also sports a bizarre looking shark fin that extends down the back half of the car, giving this machine a total weight of 2,646 pounds. This limited production plug-in hybrid two-door hypercar is powered by one internal combustion engine, a modified 1.6-liter turbocharged V6 from the Mercedes AMG F1 car. It has an astounding 11,000 RPM redline and puts out around 748 horsepower, but it will only last 31,000 miles until owners will have to return the car so the engine can be rebuilt. The V6 will work in conjunction with four 161 horsepower electric motors. The car also has the same 8-speed transmission which is similar to the type used in Formula One cars. A prototype was recently tested at the track and is said to have a top speed of 217 miles per hour. There are currently five prototypes running around out there, 
so make sure you subscribe and we'll keep you up to date on this one. Ever heard of a hypercar built for the family? Usually they are only big enough for you, a passenger, and a gallon of milk. But Swedish manufacturer Koenigsegg Automotive AB has built its first two-door hypercar with four seats, the Gemera. But don't let this four-seat arrangement fool you. The world's first Mega GT is an all-out performance machine and packs some of Koenigsegg's most impressive tech, including a gearbox-free powertrain and a small, camless, free-valve twin-turbo engine. It might not be the fastest Koenigsegg of all time, but it will certainly blow away other four-seat GTs in every performance category. Despite the extra weight of having four seats, the Jumeirah offers some furious performance thanks to the very efficient twin-turbocharged 2.0-liter three-cylinder that sends 600 horses to the front axles. That's crazy getting 600 horsepower out of a three-cylinder engine. But that's not all. Three electric motors supply instant torque that launches the car from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds. Yes, that's quicker acceleration than the Tesla S. The car also has a top speed of 249 miles per hour. Now that is what we call fun for the whole family. Many scoffed at the idea first, but electric hypercars are the future. The Remax C2 is a sleek and gorgeous two-door GT hypercar that is pure electric. It's powered by four liquid-cooled permanent magnet synchronous electric motors placed at each wheel, along with their own single-speed gearboxes. The electric motors are supplied with power from a 120 kilowatt per hour liquid-cooled 6,960-cell lithium-nickel-manganese-cobalt-oxide battery that gives the car an impressive range of 400 miles. Total output from this setup is an impressive 1,888 horsepower, and the car can accelerate from 0 to 60 from a standstill in just 1.85 seconds. That's a rocket launch. This makes it one of the fastest accelerating cars ever made. The car can complete two consecutive laps at Nürburgring with very little drop in performance. The car is also semi-autonomous and has eight onboard cameras, a pair of LiDAR, six radar emitters, and 12 ultrasonic sensors, making it the most sensitive and connected hypercar in the world. A total of 150 cars are planned and one can be yours for just $2 million. <laughs> Japanese engineering firm Aspark has their own gorgeous-looking hypercar, which is also an all-electric battery power sports car that has been in development since 2018. The chassis of this hypercar, as well as most of its components, is made of carbon fiber, which gives the sleek beauty a dry weight of 4,189 pounds, which is quite a bit heavier than other hypercars. But despite its extra weight, the car has a little surprise. It has a 69 kilowatt per hour battery that powers four electric motors, two in the front and two positioned in the rear delivering a power output of 1,984 horsepower and 1,475 pounds-feet of torque. The Owl was tested at the Misano World Circuit, where it clocked a 0 to 60 mile per hour sprint time of 1.72 seconds. Aspark claims it can even be quicker, and it can reach a top speed of 249 miles per hour. Yes, that's quicker acceleration than the Tesla S. This makes the Owl the fastest accelerating car in the world. Only 50 cars were ever made, and each has a starting price of $3.2 million. Someone give me a loan. Shelby Supercars in North America builds some amazing supercars. And their latest car is one hell of a machine. The SSC Tuatara took 10 years to develop this amazing-looking high-performance vehicle, which was influenced by fighter jet aerodynamics 
as seen in the stylish all-carbon fiber body construction and performance with an engine built just for this car. SSC claims the Tuatara has the lowest drag coefficient in its class. The production fuel-injected twin-turbo 366 cubic inch engine was manufactured by Nelson Racing and has a power output of 1,750 horsepower using special high-octane fuel, and you'll get 1,350 horses with regular 91-octane pump gas. On October 10, 2020, the Tuatara claimed a disputed production car top speed record of 331.15 miles per hour. However, this has now been challenged by various analysts on YouTube. SSC responded and said that the video showed editing errors and now SSC plans to rerun the top speed in the near future. That's right, we got another Bugatti. But this one is a one-off special that was introduced at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show. Based on the Chiron, the Bugatti La Vuitton Noir has a hand-built body made of carbon fiber with a longer nose and a longer rear section. Other features are the unique wing mirrors, LED taillight strip, and its awesome-looking wheels. The car is powered by the same 8.0-liter turbocharged W16 engine from the Chiron, which produces 1,577 horsepower mated to a 7-speed transmission. At the rear of the car, you can see its six exhaust pipes, which was an innovation on past Bugatti machines, and other styling, such as a trim piece running from the front of the car to the rear spoiler, recalls the dorsal fin on the Type 57 SC. This one-of-a-kind Bugatti sold for $13 million, making it one of the most expensive cars built to date. British automobile manufacturer Lotus unveiled the Lotus Evaya in July 2019 and was the first electric vehicle manufactured by Lotus. The car is powered by a 70 kilowatt per hour battery pack and four electric motors placed at each wheel and with their own single speed planetary gearboxes. This combination puts out 1,970 horsepower and 1,254 pounds-feet of torque. The Avaya is equipped with 20-inch magnesium wheels up front and 21 inches at the rear. Lotus claims that the hypercar can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 3 seconds, 0 to 186 miles per hour under 9 seconds, and achieve a top speed of 200 miles per hour. Only 130 models will be built and each one will cost 2 million bucks. But if you don't have the cash, this car is a playable vehicle in the games Asphalt 9 Legends, Asphalt 8 Airborne, and Project Cars 3. Sure, it's not the same thing, but better than nothing. We know there are a lot of Ferrari lovers out there. Don't worry, we got you covered. The two-door Berlinetta body Ferrari SF90 Stradale, which shares its name with the SF90 Formula One car, is a mid-engineered plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. This sleek-looking body design is very aerodynamic and can generate 860 pounds of downforce at 155 miles per hour thanks to the twin-part rear wing system used on Formula One cars. The cab forward design utilizes new aerodynamic parts of the car more effectively, and the design is a close collaboration between Ferrari Styling Center and Ferrari Engineers. The rear end of the car carries over many iconic Ferrari styling elements, such as the flying buttresses, and the engine cover is kept as low as possible to maximize airflow. The car is powered by a 769-horsepower, 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged Ferrari V8, and there are three 217-horsepower electric motors, one mounted on the transmission and the other two at the front wheels. Ferrari says the SF90 is capable of a 0-62 to 62 time of just 2.5 seconds. Fast, but not as fast as our previous cars, but in 6.7 seconds, you'd already be at the top speed of 211 miles per hour. 
All this beautiful styling and performance will only set you back around $600,000. For years, people have been hearing about the Devil 16 hypercar, which has some crazy specs attached to it. This amazing looking machine is supposed to be powered by a 12.3 liter V16 engine that will reportedly put out an insane 500,000 plus horsepower and do 0 to 62 in just 1.8 seconds and has a target speed of 320 miles per hour. We're not sure how they intend to pull this off, since it took Bugatti many years to reliably squeeze 1,000 horses out of an 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged W16 in the Veyron. But the company helping development of the engine pulled out of the deal. The design of this hypercar is jet fighter influenced, as can be seen from the rear valance, and the body design is out of this world. Regardless of all the stuff you see out there, it's just a concept car and there are people on a two-year waiting list to pay only $2.2 million for the car. Quite a low price if you consider the wild claimed specifications. And by the way, the makers of this car say that the owner doesn't choose the car, it chooses them. We're not quite sure how that's supposed to work. But stay tuned with us and we'll let you know if this car becomes a reality. That's all we got for now, folks. If you think we missed one, make sure to let us know in the comments, and we may feature it in our next video. Make sure to give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe and turn on notifications to catch more cool new videos. Thanks for watching.